What is up guys, you're watching Spinning Wheel. I'm Jared. Today we're going to be doing an oil change on the BMW, so I'll be showing you how to do that step by step. Really, really simple, um, but it'll, it can save you a lot of money in the long run from uh, keeping yourself from having to take it to um, dealerships or wherever. Um, and this is very universal. This is going to be just about with any, any vehicle, not just the BMW E36, except for one part, and I'll get to that when I get there. So hang out with me. It's pretty simple. Let's go. So, the oil I'm using is OW40. Um, now, one of my uh, viewers left me a comment on the previous video and basically said, do some research. The, uh, this particular oil might not be good for your engine. Um, he actually suggested that it's not good at all for the engine. So I said, all right, well, I appreciate your openness and honesty and looking out for me. So I did some research. Uh, and I don't mean to get all engineering explained on you, but um, the, the, the number before the OW or whatever, the blank number W, that, um, that's the oil's viscosity or thickness. Um, when it's cold, so like on a cold start. And that doesn't mean, oh, it's a 30 degree day, H how is the oil? It's anything below, I believe, um, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's like normal, just oil sitting in your engine, waiting for you to, like if you waited a whole day to start the car and you start the car, that's the temperature the oil is at, or the viscosity your, your uh, oil is at, before it's been running for a while. Now, the higher the number, the thicker the viscosity, the lower the number, the thinner the viscosity. And the, the benefit to having a lower number is that the oil gets circulated through the engine a lot faster than a thicker. So basically, the lower the number, the faster it is going to be for the oil to circulate through the motor after it's been sitting for a while so that way it limits the metal on metal wear that your engine will get during startup and warm up um, the higher number or the the number after is going to be the viscosity or the thickness once the the oil is up to temperature now I did a lot of research on this the last couple of days, um, a lot of BMW forums, talking with service guys, uh, that kind of thing, and even BMW themselves says OW30 is recommended for this particular engine. Now I'm using OW40 um, mainly because I, I feel like I have an older motor the seals are not going to be the best so if you get that thicker motor motor oil it's less likely to leak less likely to burn that kind of thing except for the fact that it's a low viscosity at cold temperatures now I live like a mile from work this is like that's the most driving I do basically is start up the car I drive three minutes to work I shut the car off I leave work turn the car on Three, minute, three minutes home, any of my commutes is basically 10, 15 minutes or less. So the thinner oil is actually better for my motor based on my driving than saying like a 10W30 or a 15W30 just because the oil gets warmed up and lubricated throughout the engine a lot faster than it would if it was a higher weight um, at cold temperatures. So anyways. I, I know that's kind of a little boring, but just something to think about for your own driving habits. Obviously, do research on your own, figure out what's probably the best motor for your oil, or f what oil is best for your motor. But like I said, the research that I've done, and BMW specifically does say that OW30 is probably the optimum oil that they would suggest. Um, I'm going with the OW40 specifically for that thicker quality, just because my pistons, my seals, all that stuff is going to be a little looser 
af ha having 230,000 miles on the motor. So having said that, let's get right into this oil change. So the first thing you gotta do is make sure you can get the car up off the ground so you can get underneath the car because there's a lower oil pan that you need to drain all the oil out of before you can go anywhere. All right, so this is the bottom of the motor right here at the front end here. And you've got this sort of skid plate here. My drain plug is actually right here. I don't know if you can see that at all. Right here is where my drain plug is at. So that's what I have to remove to get my oil out. Now, you might not have a skid plate under your motor to protect the underside, but all you have to do is find this oil pan and you can find the drain plug. It's always gonna be on the back side or the side of the uh, oil pan. And if you can't find it, oh, you can always Google like the location so you know how to do it. But basically all you gotta do is drain it or unplug it. It's gonna drain the oil. Make sure you catch it in a pan. You don't want it to fall all over the ground for you. And then once it's all drained out, then you can put the plug back in. So now you can see the oil draining into my little oil pan. For those of you without a BMW, your oil filter is most likely going to be underneath the engine still or on the side of the motor, but accessible from the lower part of the motor. If that's the case, make sure that you leave the car on jack stands so that you can access that oil filter. Once you pull the oil filter off, uh, make sure the gasket comes off with it. Put a little bit of oil around the rim of the new gasket, tighten up hand tight, um, the new oil filter, make sure that the uh, drain plug is back in the oil pan, and then you can lower the car off the jack stands. You don't have to leave it on the entire time, um, just once you get the oil filter. So now that we've drained the oil, replaced the plug, I can show you where the oil filter is on a BMW E36. It is here, the front of the motor, on the top so got to pull that off it's a 13 millimeter bolt just loosened up and just pop the cap off now inside the cap there is this rubber gasket you always get a new one of those in the new filter set so just set that aside for the time being prepare the new filter just because this one is going to be all oily. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick it up and toss it right in the box. Let it drip a little bit. Pop in the new box on the ground, just like that. New one is going to go in exactly like you pulled out the old one. Just drop it in. Grab some of that oil that was around there you always want to make sure you re-lubricate the new gaskets so that they don't stick remove the old gasket from around the cap get the new gasket right here again get some oil around it so it doesn't stick when you put it in you're basically going to set it down Drop the pin back in, start to finger tight it in, and then just tighten her down. All right, so that's how you do an oil change. Um, always figure out how much oil your car needs and get that much. And once you filled up your oil, check your dipstick, make sure you are at the correct level. Should have two lines. I've got two lines here. As long as you're in the middle, you're good. And we're in the middle, so we're good. And that's basically it. So, thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out some of the other videos that I've got. Keep it yagging, guys, and I'll see you later.